This is the Brisser mobile power station, which I recently got my hands on. And I think for astrophotography, if you need to go and power a scope in the field, this is a very small, compact solution that has a lot of very neat astrophotography related features. So before we start the review today, I just want to be 100% transparent that this is not a sponsored review. I got that as actually for my birthday, um, and this is not something that I've been paid for and not received this for, for free or anything. This has been paid for by one of my family members that gave that to me. So start by taking a physical tour of the device. Here on the front, we have a small display. We have four buttons. We're going to go over all those in a second, what they do. Moving on here to what I would assume is the back. We have a, I believe that's a 240 volt uh, output. We have two USB ports and we have a USB-C and we have a USB, what they call a QC, which is a quick charge uh, 3.0 um, charge port. That means if you want to charge a phone or anything off like that, then you can go ahead and do that. At the bottom, we have three uh, 12 volt outputs and it comes with these adapters so if you want to run like uh, a, a, the, this, the 12 volt output from your car like a cigarette light or something like that if you want to use that for um, uh, for powering something like that you just plug those in there and then you take whatever you need to power and you plug that in there on the other side of it we have a lamp or light we'll talk more about that in a second and then we have the charging port here you have two charging options either you can plug it into the wall and just charge it off your main power, or you can plug it into your car and charge it off the car's 12 volt. Other than that, that's pretty much it. There's a small fan down here for, for cooling in if you really draw a lot of, uh, of, of power from it. It has a 155 watt hour of total capacity, which means in terms of astrophotography use, a typical mount will draw around one amp at um, at 12 volts so this one should give you around about like 12 ish hours of tracking time so we're not talking about slewing your telescope we're just talking about a pure tracking so if you point at the target you plug this in and this then powers it it should be able to power this like 12 14 hours ish that kind of that kind of range of course, if you begin to add more devices to your telescope, or if you have a very heavy telescope, then it may be drawing more power. If you begin to add like dew heaters or pre-cool cameras, or maybe even begin to power a laptop out of it, that's obviously going to cut into your um, tracking time significantly. Another thing that's worth mentioning is because of that 155 watt hours of battery capacity, that means that you're not going to be able to take this with you on a plane. At least most carriers here in the EU only allows up to 100 watt hours. So if you are planning to make this run dual purpose, because I know not a lot of people are realistically going to fly anywhere with their telescope, but if you are planning to use this for, let's say, go camping somewhere and it's far away and you're planning to take a plane, just keep in mind that you cannot take this with you, at least on both in the EU. I'm not sure about the rules in the US, but check with your, whatever the company you're flying with, what the rules are in terms of maximum battery capacity that you're allowed to take with you. Now, let's look at the features. It's pretty straightforward, to be honest. We can turn it on and we have a display and the display shows us how much power is left. We can see that right now it is in DC mode. And we can push it over and now it says AC and that means that now that AC outlet is turned on. The other port still works. It's not that you have one or the other, but you can just basically turn the AC on and off um, as you see fit. Other than that, we have a lamp icon and we have a torch icon. If you click the lamp icon, what will happen is here on the back, there is this light strip that will turn up and that is red, which is awesome to see. Normally I would expect people to put like a white light in here, but because this is really good for astrophotography, they put a red light in here. You can control the brightness of it um, again by, by pressing the button. Again, it goes brighter and then it goes off. So it cycles between either off, low, high, and then off again. So that basically just a little floodlight that you use to, to like light up a small area so you can see what you're doing. Maybe you have a, a bunch of equipment lying around and you want to be able to see it. You just turn that on, put that there, and uh, then it will flood the area without completely ruining your night vision. The torch here in the front, um, if we turn that one on, 
you can see that's also red, which is again, awesome, more red light. We love that in astrophotography. Nice and bright, and this functions now more like a torch. If you're walking around, you're looking for something, then you have that more focused light instead of the, the more like general spread out flood light that we saw here on the side. This one also have multiple modes, which maybe is not that useful, but we'll see them here. You have, of course, the first one is just constantly on. Second mode is linking. Not really sure when I would use that, but okay. The other one is this one. So you can see you've got three longs and then three shorts. That's SOS. So what it's doing right now is, is send Morse code out with an SOS signal. Now, again, nice feature. Um, I hope it's something I never have to use. So that's pretty much it. It's, it's small, it's lightweight, it's easy to, to, to handle, easy to move around and can power whatever you need for your scope. You can charge your phone off of it, run a laptop off it again with, with limited uh, time, of course. But so I think this is a very nice device for astrophotography. Again, unless you're really running a power hungry setup, then you might want to look for something bigger. But for like a smaller setup, this is a super, super nice little device. Do let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think of this? Are there like features that you feel like is, is, is missing or anything on it you would like to see improved? Or especially like, what do you think of the battery capacity? Is it too small for you? Or would you like to have something bigger? Or is it just fine for, for smaller setups? Comment section below. And while you are heading down there, please also do consider subscribing to the channel for more astrophotography and space nerdery. And also give the video a like.